Hello everyone and back with another video that is how to add mouse control over a circle in canvas so that's the today's topic and this is what right now you can see on the screen that's what I'm going to make today you can see when mouse move the circle is moving in the direction of the mouse so for that we will be using one click uh, sorry that is one event listener that is mouse move so let's get started so i have already written canvas with id animation and i have fetched that into my script now i'm starting with just writing my code that is the main code so for firstly i'm writing that is i'm defining the variables so let's start with where x equals to 100 and where y equals to 100 and also radius that is 70 so now I'm creating a function that will create my circle. So first of all, write create circle function. Then inside that, I'll be writing another. I'm calling first of all that is clear rectangle, basically that was. So I'm also creating a function for that. So I'm writing calling that function that is clear. Then I'm defining my circle that is arc. Then I'm passing x and y coordinate then radius and then start angle and end, end, end angle then uh, uh, one thing i forgot that is one ctx dot begin path so that's what you know from where our path will be started and also one more important is to close that path so another i'm writing is that ctx dot close path now inside that Next what I want is to fill my circle that is with fill style, fill it with orange color and then call the method fill that is used to fill the color in canvas. Then I also need a stroke so call the function stroke. Then it's time to call the function so create circle outside that. I need to define another function also that is clear function that I have already called in create circle so in that what I need is ctx dot uh, fill style and in that I'm going to pass like RGBA that is 255 255 255 and 0.3 then after that I want to fill this so I am going to call my fill rectangle method and I am going to pass the arguments that is 0, 0 and canvas dot width and canvas dot height. Now we will see our circle in Chrome. Now we will move on to adding our that is event listener to the canvas so for that we will start with canvas dot add event listener that is mouse move and then i'm writing function with let's pass an argument that is e and i'm again calling the clear function because i want to clear the rectangle every time and then i want to redefine my x variable so what I want is to get the mouse points. So for that, what I need is a dot client x. So that will give me the x coordinate of the mouse. And uh, next what I wa want is y coordinate. So for that also what I need is y equals to e dot um, client y. So this will give me the points of the mouse. Let's check in browser. Uh, on mouse, it disappeared. So let me check and in inspect. There is no error, also, it's showing. So I need to check in code what went wrong. So Okay, now what happened is that on event listener, I have not created my circle. So when I 
so when my mouse moved on to the canvas it basically just clear the canvas not created the circle so for that what i need to do is i need to uh, like call this create circle inside my event listener also so uh, like call the function that it's create circle and we will see now in the chrome how it will work now you can see it's actually working but the mouse coordinates and the circle are at different positions they are not like mouse is not in the circle center so to make that I need to change one more thing that is I need to decrease my X with the canvas dot offset left and Y with my canvas that is like offset top so let's see how it will work refresh and now you can see the mouse cursor is in the center of the circle and it's now moving perfectly and my video ends here so i hope you like this video thank you so much for watching